Boissy Charles de Gaulle, Paris' airport, 20 minutes past midnight. The last flight of the day has just touched down, and maintenance crews are preparing to repaint a runway. It will have little to do with flying, and a lot to do with the changing character of the Earth. Most people don't know that the numbers assigned to runways are not picked at random. There's a reason for them. The runway number corresponds to its compass heading, and they have to be changed periodically because way up at the North Pole, magnetic north moves around relative to true north, and the aircraft's compass points to magnetic north. Hard as it may be to believe, the magnetic pole is moving. Enough so that every five years, its position has to be updated. A select and adventurous group of scientists travels to the Arctic and its icy ocean to determine exactly where the pole is. The two veteran scientists who've been doing this for the last 30 years are Canadian geophysicist Larry Newitt and French geologist Jean-Jacques Orgeval. I got started in the 73 survey, and I've been on the every survey since then. In 84, I was up here. Finding the magnetic pole is vital to navigators around the world. Odd as it sounds, the Earth has two North Poles, and right now they are 700 kilometers apart. The geographic pole is the axis around which the Earth rotates, but it is the magnetic pole that attracts the needles of our compasses, and that pole is the one that's on the move. 